So today we're playing uh, a bunch of North Korean games today, ladies and gentlemen. I figured since I played about one of these games, um, which was Pyongyang Racer, one of the dankest racing games of all time, I think if anything I have to attribute to, probably, probably fucking Game of the Year for whenever it released, I'm not being sarcastic at all, trust me. Uh, I decided, why not just string through and play a grand majority of these and get this North Korean bug out of my system? I don't fucking know why, but lately it's just it's just been North Korea all over my mind, all right? You, some could say that I have a fetish, all right? I have a fetish for the Northern Koreans, but I figured I'm going to squash it, my gaming bug, and just let it all go. So, on 2017th of my birthday, no less, Papa Niero on Destructoid made a fucking article all right, a parody top 10, a joke article, no fucking way. When we're talking about North Korea, it ain't no fucking joke. One of the top 10 games was Pyongyang Racer, a game that I played. Yeah, I mean, look at it. It's exactly like Forza Horizon. Oh, come on, dude. You're a fucking asshole if you're going to say that shit. All right, first game in our North Korean uh, fucking video game extravaganza. I fucking hate these types of games. But as you can see, they've got... Absolutely the loveliest fucking dojo. Now these are one of those puzzle games where you have to sort of block off all the fucking Koreans and shit in the least amount of steps. Um, I suck dick at these games. There shouldn't be any fucking thought, rhyme, or reason about that. But I figured, for, oh, better avoid the Japanese there, dude. They're gonna spring up out of nowhere. So, I think the way I'm gonna fucking play this game is I move this one like over here. All right, I think I've already fucked myself. I gotta dodge this guy. All right, gotta close that dude up over there. All right, and then I gotta, and then I gotta, and then I gotta pull one of these. All right, um, I can't. Oh fuck, I can't push that one down over there. That makes that would make no sense. All right, that would make no fucking sense. Ooh, wait, what? I covered the I covered the Japanese dude, and he was replaced by George W. Bush, as you can see. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh, I fucked myself over on this. What happens if the Japanese catch me? Nothing. So you have to just block them off. All right, let's try that one again. I definitely want to beat one fucking puzzle before I continue on with this. I mean, Jesus Christ, come on. All right, I cannot let the North Koreans think that we gaijin know this Japanese, but we, we are not this fucking stupid, okay? I know, I know, I know this. Well, I mean, we're not this stupid, but I sure as fucking hell am, all right? These kind of games drive me fucking insane. I bet it just fucking made fun of my mother right now, dude. It said, you suck dick! Oh, so the whole goal of that is to basically move that one all the way there to that end. And then you can sort of push that one all the way there. And fuck. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. All right. That kind of makes some sense. All right. Move that one there. And then I can sort of take this one. And then move that there, there. BAM! I beat the fucking Japanese, dodged them all down under these diamond traps. Alright, so it's basically your standard puzzle game, alright? Simple as that, dude. There's nothing... I mean, aside from the aside from the obviously racist depictions of the Japanese, I, I don't... <laughs> like, there's nothing There's nothing so terribly, like, commie about this fucking game. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a pretty boring version of fucking Bejeweled is all it is. Alright, basically, it has the AI to tell you when you've truly fucked up like that. But other than that, this, this game is pretty... Pretty generic, dude. I don't know. I don't know what we can, uh, what we're really getting out of the Koreans on this one, dude. It's a pretty standard fucking game. Just don't fuck up your puzzles and you should be good. However, it's got about a total, if I can tell, of a me oh, it's got about 24 puzzles. All right, so you get a fair bit of gameplay out of it, you know, for uh, for a, for the price of free, motherfucker. It's not too bad. Okay, I've seen phone games that are considerably worse off. Wow. It's like these motherfuckers find the crappiest JPEG in all the lands and pass that shit off as a buck to you, dude. Holy Christ. First things first, turn down the audio as much as you can. These games are ungodly loud. So what is this? The whole of Korea? The best Korea, ladies and gentlemen? Let's hit play over here. They're gonna ask you questions. Now here they're, pro they're, they're putting provinces on Korea. I guess we might as well include that. It's... Yeah, there, there ain't no there ain't no way this is getting answered, dude. I'm, I'm always getting straight up fucking nose on that one, dude. So it's just a standard geography quiz. I mean, what the fuck else do you expect, right? So what is Project Hammer? Uh, did you know that voting is mandatory in North Korea? Ooh, there's only one name. Oh, yeah, because it's a democratic republic of fucking Korea, dude. You got to vote for one person. That's Kim Jong-un, I believe, dude. I mean... You better, motherfucker. They've got a 100% voting regimen, I guess, and it's all just one dude. 
It's kind of great how they call it Democratic Republic, but as soon as you get into the first propaganda game, it's this dude being smashed with a hammer. I mean, what the fuck? What is this? Whack-a-mole? <laughs> what the hell is this? Korean Abe Lincoln, dude? What the fuck? Okay, I don't know what I'm exactly... I think I'm supposed to, like, press the button. Oh, okay, so you're supposed to press them on your numcad. So, every time you smash them, this dude goes, ah! All right, so they play one sound effect. Is that, is that really it? I mean, there is a time limit to this kind of stuff, but it doesn't seem like it goes down. I just have to hit a, I just have to hit a number, right? So, bam, bam, bam. Okay, five. Oh, so I think I have to hit, like, the good, the good candidate, not like a bad, I mean, I don't know exactly how to read Korean, so, I mean, I don't know, I'm probably clicking, clicking on all the worst ones, dude, but they got different names on each of the ballots over there, I suppose, I, I guess you're only supposed to press on, like, Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un, otherwise, you know, these guys would track your fucking IP address and uh, fucking molester your ass if, if they found out exactly who you were, so, it's fucking Korean whack-a-mole, dude. But what is this button down over here? Well, it gives you something, dude. But it's Korean whack-a-mole, except you gotta vote for the right party, otherwise, you might as well kill yourself, alright? So yeah, here it gave you the instructions, dude. But yeah, dude, there's nothing too, nothing too off about it. I mean, the gameplay is pretty bare bones, but at the end of the day, what the fuck do you expect out of a Flash game, right? So here's Mass Effect Ham, uh, Ham Yong Bak Do, alright? You can't save everyone or stab everyone that jumps over the demilitarized zone. Alright, so it's again, it's by Urumin Zoker. This video might as well be called North Korean Propaganda Company Makes Fucking Flash Games for North Korea, dude. But apparently this is like a choice-based Mass Effect type deal. So I guess, I guess we'll kind of have to see what the fuck we got. But we're clicking open the game. And is there, is there any way to start this? I mean, like a fucking faint heartbeat of a game that wants to start. But at the same time, it really does want me to see what's behind door number one. Man, I really wanted to play Mass Effect North Korea, dude. What the hell is this shit? Man, it looks like it looks like we'll never get a true Mass Effect game after three, dude. <laughs> I really wanted to play it. <laughs> That's oh wait no. It, okay, I guess it apparently had to fucking load, dude. Patience is a virtue. What? What is this? All right, so in this world they've got a they've got a desert area. They've got the wheelbarrow in the desert area, and they got the forest. So I guess we'll click on the forest. <laughs> what the hell is this? Am I fight? Am I fighting samurais and shit out in the fucking forest? Oh my god, they're trying to cross the demilitarized zone. I think I fucked up. What 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 happened? I think I fucked up, dude. Okay, so we get to pick weapons, I assume. But here's another map. Okay, this one I got an arrow. Man, I don't know exactly how to win this, dude. I mean, we got to basically it's like survival. So I guess you just sort of click on everything. It's got the same MS Paint blood texture, dude. This is like early Newground shit is what it is. Like, I'm surprised the arrow actually has some form of coherent animation. Other than that, it's difficult. Now, this is slightly more easier than the other ones. I, I want to say just because of the fact that it, 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 it this, this one you get like the arrow. And as long as you manage to hit these people before like they come up to you and attack you, you're fine. Now, the grand enemy variety in this game is about two different enemies, alright? So you got two different enemies and possibly four different attacks, okay? Possibly. Of course, keyword is possible. But it's... It, I, don't, I don't exactly know how this is supposed to be Mass Effect. I mean, other than it's a shitty uh, zombie survival type simulator because these guys have IQ levels worse than fucking zombies. <laughs> God damn. It's basically just horde defense mode, dude. You're just tossing maces out to these motherfuckers, dude. I don't even know how I got that one, like, that second kill over here. So, yeah, this is just basically you tossing maces. But as you can see, the gameplay is the most fucking... You can kind of switch weapons out, so you can actually get the arrow if you really want to, or the spear. I really don't think picking the fucking weapons matters, because it's all the same shit. You're just tossing it. There's no actual, like, proper combat system. Fuck that nonsense. And you get to take one hit, too. Like, fuck that shit. Poor infrastructure. Fighter 2. Cancelled Visa Warriors. Oh, this, this dude's a fucking asshole, but I love him. So this is a fighter game. Again, it's by Urumin Zokuri, dude. It's like, it's all these motherfuckers. Alright, I thought I was gonna get some diversity on this list, but it's just one company, dude. It's the EA of North Korea taking over with the most generic cookie-cutter fucking games. Alright, so I think we got a little fighter going on over here. Okay, I can't exactly move my care. Oh, no, I can't. Wow. You ever fucking, you know those Tiger LCD games and shit, like back in the day? And they had like a shitty fighter game on them, like a Street Fighter version on Tiger Electronics? Like with the fucking grid-based crap? That's way better than this! Okay, holy shit! 
So you can't exactly move further over here. I don't exactly know what's going on, but I'm about to be the shit out of this kid in the purple, uh, pur purple, purple fucking you know, clothing over here. Okay, bam! Beat his ass, dude. And then you kind of get to switch out the levels a little bit. Wow. Holy shit. This is actually so pathetically bad. They don't even have fucking background music for this shit, dude. I mean, it's just, it, this, this might be the laziest for- Wow, this kid's kicking my ass! Holy crap! Relax there, Ryu, chill the fuck out! <laughs> what the fuck? He's kicking the shit out of me, dude! This is Kim Jong-un's fucking prize fighter, bro! Relax! Okay, go to Jesus! Ho! 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 <laughs> Naughty, dude! Fucking beat his ass! I think this is the last fight, dude. This kid's kicking my ass! Alright, so there really isn't anything. It's just a matter of you spamming attacks. Like, there's, like, I, like some of the attacks don't even count. Like, what the hell is that? How does that not hit registering, dude? What the fuck? <laughs> God damn it. They need to upgrade this game. Okay, now I'm kicking his ass, dude. Apparently, the up attack does not do anything. Okay, there we go. Beat his ass. Third time. Oh, another one again? Is that is this a tie break around? Is this a tie break around? Am I gonna kick his ass, dude? Come over here, bitch. He's playing defensively. You can tell he's scared shitless, dude. It'd be great if every time you play this Flash game, you're connected to some other dude online. And, like, I'm actually kicking some dude in, like, a North Korean library right now. Like, this is their, this is their fucking fighter game, okay? This is what gets streamed out on North Korean Twitch. Now, now it's just gonna fucking repeat itself. Fuck this shit, dude. Now, 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 now it's just fucking with me, okay? Shitty fighting game. I got gotcha. you. Alright, so apparently they made the game from fucking... Okay, so they, they made the game... All from fucking- Okay, I'm about to die. I'm about to fucking die. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Oh, god damn it. They made the- They made the hacking minigame from Bioshock a complete reality. Okay, so apparently I, I gotta do this, man. I gotta- I gotta move this shit out and manage to fucking survive in some way, shape, or form because other than that, dude, there is- There is no way to truly be winning this, dude. There is no piece to be had. It's giving me the most- It's giving me the most random bullshit pieces that I don't want to really be using. But I'm kind of forced to it, like, right- right here- oh, fuck, mouse. Come on, don't- don't fail me now. Do not disconnect on me, mouse. Like, what am I supposed to fucking do there?! You fucked me over, game! Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh! Oh! Fuck, you derailed it. Okay, last time the charm, okay? Try it again. I, I got I gotta be quick about this, man. It's giving me the most bullshit puzzles right now, dude. This game does this game has no chill. It will in fact fuck your mother. Okay, move that there. Try that. Try oh my god. Oh my god, you swine! Move that there. Move that there. Oh, oh god, I did it. I did what's that what's that? Was that a loot box in the middle? Okay, hold on. Let's try this one, okay? Will we win this one? It's moving over there. This is perfect. Okay, picked up a hundred. Okay, that's apparently a hundred extra points. That's nice. Okay, I guess I can just put like different random ones. I don't know what that shit is all about. Okay, another one got a hundred points. Whew, it just gives you some random bullshit pieces at times, dude. You gotta just spam them across the grid if you want to. Here's another one, okay? So you can get extra points if you want to. So bam, do one of those. Pass that shit there. And then, oh man, see, I gotta, I gotta pull it down fast. I, I gotta do this one, man. Like it, it is, it is, it is, it is something, dude. It, it's tense because, holy shit, you want to actually get the pieces, but like, good fucking luck. Like, it's just gonna connect. It's just gonna fucking connect. Hold on, move that shit out of there. No. Okay, whatever, dude. Fuck it. Okay, there we go. This, this is the most clusterfuck of a puzzle. Jesus Christ. Okay, move that there. <laughs> no. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Mm. No. No. Just give me a straight piece! Oh, oh god. Oh god. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, there we go, dude. Holy Christ. That's fucking, that's, that's pulse pounding, dude. You just gotta, like, spam pieces, and god forbid you fill the whole grid, you're kind of screwed there. But other than that, man, I'm pretty fucking massive expert at So here you can just speed up the train if you really want to. This fucking guy again? Holy Christ, he looks so much- This, this thing looks like it's in pure pain. It's demonic. Oh god, it's another one of these puzzly games. Now, I don't know who the fuck they're really showcasing over here, but whoever it is, they don't seem to like him because they dressed him up as a fucking rat. But this game reminds me of what- Ooh! Ooh, better survive this! So I guess I gotta get all the keys and progress to the end, which is gonna be sort of fun. They got all the health bars- Oh no, don't touch me! 
Man, they take away a shit ton of your health, dude. But basically, I guess you gotta sort of get your keys and progress to the end. This sort of reminds me of a game back on the day. Oh my god, I get fucking... How are you supposed to get that watering can? Like, what are you supposed to do there? Okay, that, that's some... What the fuck? Dude, this collision detection and this is so garbage sauce. Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking cry. It's so garbage. It's so garbage! What the fuck? You cannot clip! It's so rigid! What the fuck are you doing with your- Okay, there you go, finally! Oh my god! The worst thing is, it's not the- Okay, can I go- No, you can't go through- Oh, so you need to get the watering can. Wait, how the fuck are you gonna get the watering can? What's that nonsense about? Look at that- Look at that guy! How are you gonna get the watering can? Look at this shit! Can I fight him? Oh, you can fight him! Oh no! Okay, there you go, so you can at least kill the fucking, like, rats and shit. So I guess, I guess the best way is to sort of- no? Yeah, the best way is to sort of take these rats on it. Okay, so at least there's a combative measure to these motherfuckers. So you can beat the shit out of the rats, and eventually get it. Like, I feel like this might just be a really shitty- th There was this game- there was this Godzilla game on the Game Boy Color. It's like a really shitty version of that. And that game itself was already really shitty. So to make a shitty version of a shitty game. Oh fuck, it's this game again. Oh my god. So this game actually has a story. Uh, somebody from the last video where I actually came across this when we were to look at North Korean websites actually said this was like a defector who escaped from North Korea to South and the North Koreans made this game as a sign to show how much they hated these defectors running away and shit talking I guess their country, dude. That, that, that game is pretty fucked up, dude. Hanging some dude out like that. Now, here's the last uh, game I guess they got over here. Uh, it's about George Bush and I think that's Shinzo Abe or something from fucking... Uh, that's a Japanese prime minister. I guess we'll open it. I guess it's the Urman Zokery game, dude. These guys, these guys are literally the fucking North Korean Tent Center EA, dude. They're the ones who make all the games. They're the publisher. They're number one. They're the big dog in North Korea, dude. So I guess this is where you swap them out, like, because these guys are dirty, aggressor flies. Let's fucking do that shit. Yeah, I know, I know how to play the game, okay? You don't have to fucking explain this shit to me. So, bam! Oh, man, George Bush is hard to fucking hit, dude. Gee, stop it! Chill out, Bush! God damn! You the fuck- Okay, whatever. The Japanese guy goes down quick, dude, let me tell you. I don't know who the dude in the- I don't know- I don't know who the other dude is. I think that might be some South Korean actor or some shit that they, they just don't like. But apparently I'm swatting these motherfuckers. I don't really know the whole storyline and plot to this game. But whatever it is, it is pretty retarded. There is no time limit to this. You just sort of smash as much as you can. If you look up over at the portraits, they get considerably worse the more you smash them. So I guess that's sort of one thing you're going for, okay? If you're going for the completionist runs, they have to turn into spooky skeleton people before you even progress, man. Holy Christ, this is the world of North Korean video games bad. Can some motherfuckers just give them a copy of Deus Ex on the PC or something and call it a day? Alright, show them at least some fucking playable, like, some game, dude. Give the- give these motherfuckers die katana, people. Christ. <laughs> give them something, dude. Oh my god, this is terrible. Okay, the last guy, last guy. I think. He's an asshole to hit, by the way. Yeah. There we go. Thank fucking lord. Wow, holy Christ, that is probably the one game that makes me want to fucking die, ladies and gentlemen. So, compared to the last couple games we played, Pyongyang Racer, I don't know why that was rated at the end of the list, because that was actually, that was genuinely the best fucking North Korean game that we've played. The other ones, created by North Korea, I even forgot the company name already. Those were the biggest pieces of fucking fecal matter I have ever played in my life. I will never get the taste of dick out of my mouth after playing games like that out, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, please don't play those games. Uh, they, not because of any political reason or I don't want you, you know, put on a watch list. They're actually terrible, okay? Please do not expose yourself to that kind of shit. Um, again, Give these motherfuckers die katana or something, dude. G give them anything, all right? Fuck. Give them, like, g give them doom on the SNES or something, people, okay? Fuck. I feel, I actually, this is a depressing video. I feel genuinely bad for the populace of North Korea. They have, they have never got to touch a decent video game. Holy Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, please fucking help these people out, okay? Kim Jong-un, I implore you, give these motherfuckers something, all right? Ladies and gentlemen...
This is me, Mudahar. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe, just like if you dislike it. Please express your condolences in the comment section below for the lack of any decent game in this country. This is me, Mudahar, and I am out.